Ben, take us through where you got the idea for this short position and how it worked out. Sure. Well, thank you, Bonnie, for having me on. Uh, we wanted to take a close look at deals that were struck uh, pre-pandemic at potentially um, aggressive or high valuations. That led us to Forescout Technologies, a, a company in the, the cybersecurity space. Um, they had agreed to be acquired by Advent for $33 a share. Um, as we followed the tra transaction, the timeline, looking at the proxy statement that disclosed all the background to the transaction, um, it became evident to us that some forward-looking guidance may not have been shared with prospective buyers and that the management didn't have to disclose the Q1 and 2020 guidance that, that looked to be materially uh, worse than the street was projected. Um, subsequently, um, last week when the company did put out their Q1 guidance, it was even worse uh, than anyone had expected, and that gave us um, some real concern uh, that the, the transaction uh, could be delayed. The market, we felt, was ascribing too low a probability um, that uh, the deal could break. And so we thought it was a good risk-reward to be short the stock. Um, you know, subsequently, we've seen uh, the transaction be put on hold by some litigation and some uh, disputes between the parties about um, you know, the underlying health of the business, but we're still negative uh, on the company. We think they have some real fundamental challenges. There's still a lack of clarity um, around the outlook for the company. Uh, they're burning cash. Um, Advent believes they could be um, insolvent, um, even post-closing a, a proposed transaction. So, um, you know, we, we continue to be negatively negative uh, positioned on the company. So you do still have a position. Have you talked to Advent since the lawsuit? So Advent, you know, has not been engaging or making comment. Um, we wrote a public letter to them um, suggesting to them that, that we thought uh, the valuation they ascribed to the business was too high, outlining some of our concerns about, you know, our findings and belief that, uh, you know, Forescout was on shaky ground. Um, it's our, you know, belief that, that they likely read, read the letter. Certainly uh, they took our suggestions by notifying the company. Uh, late Friday that they wouldn't be proceeding with the transaction. So, um, you know, from our perspective, uh, we achieved our result by getting our, com our communication across to Advent and by them, you know, at least listening um, to our concerns and backing off from the transaction. Now, they did say, both of them, Forescout and Advent, did say that they were discussing an alternative scenario. What might that be, Ben? Well, I think there's some hope out there that in this alternative scenario, there'll be a, a lower price point, uh, you know, reached uh, the $33 per share ascribed, uh, you know, over five times revenue multiple um, to the business. Um, and, you know, that was on rosy projections. Um, our belief is that uh, a business like Forescout should be valued more at, you know, two and a half times revenues, um, three times revenues at best. And if you look at the, the recent quarter and uh, make some modest projections on, on run rate revenue, I mean, we could still see the stock in, in the teens here, uh, you know, with the litigation that's being commenced. Uh, obviously, there was hope, hope I think, for an amicable, amicable res resolution, but now it looks like the situation has turned um, to an adversarial uh, situation. And so, uh, you know, that's why we still think there's, there's high risk that uh, no deal progresses. There was another bidder or two before all of this. Any chance that they might come back? Um, that's always a possibility. Um, you know, there was not much color provided on that back on, on those two prospective you know buyers in the proxy. Um, I think you know it'd be probably unlikely for anyone to step in between now and when the drop dead date for the the transaction occurs. Um, you know, and also there's a question of uh, the ability to get financing for the acquisition of Forescout um, in the prior. Contemplating transaction, there was 400 million of debt, you know, uh, required uh, by Advent to, con to contemplate the deal. Uh, our concern with Forescout, obviously, is that they're losing money and have historically had uh, negative cash flow. So the appetite for lenders to to want to lend against a, a decaying, declining business is is an open matter. Ben, what does it all mean for Advent? Doesn't it hurt their reputation to walk away from a deal like this? No, I think it strengthens their reputation, right? I think to the extent that they feel that the business has had a material adverse effect and or some of these challenges were not fully disclosed to them, um, they have every right to assert their position with the comp uh, position, you know, legally and enforce any legal rights they have. So, no, we've seen other private equity, you know, companies um, step away from prospective targets and or 
try to negotiate and or use legal tactics, so mm -hmm. I, I don't view that as negatively. 